Hi, Kimmy. Oh, hi there. And have I got some exciting news for you. I'm so excited, I can hardly speak. Not that that usually stops me. You know, some people in the city of Friends have me down as being a bit of a chatterbox. I can't imagine why. Yes? What's this exciting news? Oh, yes, I almost forgot. <laughs> can I put this up in your window? It won't take up too much room. And I'll take it down for you as soon as we don't need it anymore. Wow. An under-13s disco? Oh, Mum, can we go? <laughs> of course you can. There's going to be a large show and a DJ and everything. <sighs> I almost wish I was a youngster again so I could go too. Hi, Martin. Hi, Mia. Want to come to the park? Wouldn't you rather go to a disco instead, Jumpy? No, I want to play for the... Disco? What disco? The disco in the town hall, tonight! <laughs> Wicked! Just what I need to show off my brilliant break dancing. Watch this. Ow! Ooh! Ow! <laughs> what just happened? Jumpy was doing some break dancing. Oh! Don't ow. worry, Jumpy. Ooh. I'm sure you'll be fine. How did he do it? I think they said he was dancing. Woof, woof, woof. Huh. We should be out catching criminals and stuff. Agreed, Petey. Well, someone's got to take the lights and turntables to the town hall for the disco. Woof, 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 woof. We could be out solving crimes and being super detectives. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Jumpy, I don't think you're quite as bad as you sound. Oh, I am! I need bandages and plaster and crutches and... Um, I, I think we'd better take you to the hospital for a closer look. Oh, no. That means you're going to miss the disco. Huh? Uh, on second thoughts, I think I might be able to limp along to the music. No, Jumpy. We'll take you to the hospital and have another look at you there. I'll be all right. Honest. I'm sure you will. By tomorrow. Just so long as you keep nice and still. Don't want to make your injuries any worse, do you? Poor Jumpy. He was looking forward to the disco. Don't worry. He'll be fine by tonight. There really isn't very much wrong with him. But we thought we'd teach him a little lesson. Pretending you're ill when you're not isn't very clever. <laughs> I suppose he was making a bit of a fuss. Uh, I'm feeling a lot better now. Is that the lot, Max? Yep, that's everything. Oh, there's some pretty nifty kit here. A light show, turntables, there's even a smoke machine. Right. As soon as you've taken that inside, we can get back to the station and start solving crimes again, Max. Uh, yes. You do that, Tiff. I'll just stay behind and make sure all this stuff works. You do that then, Max. Right. Let's see. Oh, yeah! Do you think Jumpy will be allowed out of the hospital yet? Hope so, he... Hello. The disco can't have started yet, can it? I didn't think it was until six o'clock. Oh, hope we didn't make a mistake about the time. Hi, Max. I thought the disco was for under-13s only. That's right, and it hasn't started yet. But there's... Just checking that all the equipment's working. Well, run along, 
See you later. Uh, yes. Oh, yeah, baby. Watch me move. Now, to check out that smoke machine. Right. Just switch that. Oh, oh, oh. Smoke I go go. Hey. <laughs> A bit, Elfie. Oops, so I did. Shouldn't you be keeping an eye out on the city, Ruff? I suppose I should, really. Still, I don't think there's likely to be any... Fire! No, probably not. No, I mean fire. As in, there's a fire out there. The town hall. Fire, fire, fire! Oh, fire! 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 Where? The town hall! Smoke absolutely pouring out of it! Fire! Fire! Come on, let's get to work. Water on! Max? Are you okay? Come on, Max. Out of there, quick, before you get burned. I won't get burned. There's no fire. What? But it's the smoke machine. I can't turn it off. Oh, Max. <laughs> <laughs> got an off switch. Yes, it has. You just need to know where to look for it. Uh, well, I... It was... Uh, oh, bother. All better now, Jumpy? Yes, well, I wasn't all that hurt in the first place. I, I think I might have made more of a fuss than I needed to. Come on, we'd better hurry. It starts soon. Bye, Ted. Bye, Tina. And thanks. <laughs> Hi, Max. Hi, Tiffany. Hi, Timber. Ruff. You're not going to the disco, are you? You're a bit old for it. No. We're just here to keep an eye on things. Well, keep an eye on me! I'm the best dancer in the city of Friends! Watch this! Woo! Yeah! Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> Call that dancing! This is dancing! Hey! Oh! I'm fine! Just a little bump! sandwiches for the ducks? Certainly not. I've just made them for my lunchtime customers. But, Mum, the ducks are really hungry. <laughs> so are my customers. Here, you can have these stale bread rolls. Stale bread? <laughs> the ducks won't know the difference. <laughs> sit, Timber, sit. <laughs> Fetch, Timber! Fetch! Oh, good boy, Timber! Good boy! Mum was right. Ducks don't seem to mind stale bread. 
The mother duck must be hungry looking after all those ducklings. I wonder what's the matter with that duck. She seems afraid of us. Come on, Martin. Let's leave her in peace. Hi there. We've just been doing some dog training. Timber was a very clever boy. <laughs> but now he wants to play football. <laughs> try and dislodge the ball with a stone. If you miss fire, the stone might hit the duck and hurt her. Oh, sorry. <coughs> How are we ever going to get the football off her nest? Timber's a good swimmer. Maybe he can swim out and nudge the ball off the nest with his nose. Huh. It's worth a try. Fetch the ball, Timber! Fetch! <coughs> Wow! He's a brilliant swimmer! The mother duck's trying to scare Timber away. Here, Timber! Back, boy! <laughs> <laughs> Timber! <laughs> You're wet through. Good boy. You tried your best. Oh, now what are we going to do? We need a long ladder that will reach right out to the middle of the pond. There's only one long ladder in the City of Friends, and that belongs to Frankie the Fire Engine. Hey! You've got a call coming in! Calling the emergency fire services. Calling Barney. Are you receiving me? Loud and clear, Tiffany. How can we help? Can you come to the City of Friends Park right away? We've got a problem. We're on our way, Tiffany. Yeah! Ranky to the rescue! Let's hope your bucket reaches out that far, Elfie. How did you get the football in the nest in the first place? Mia kicked it. I, I was trying to score a goal. Oh, great shot, Mia. Be quiet, Timber. Sit. Oh. Oh, just a little bit further, and it'd have been right over the nest. It looks like we're going to have to use the ladder as well, Barney. If we could secure the ladder to Elfie's bucket, I could lie across it and grab the ball. No way, Barney. You're too heavy. You'd bend the ladder and end up in the pond. Oh, you're right, Tom. It's got to be somebody who's small and light. I'm small and light, Barney. I can do it. No, Mia. It's too dangerous. We've got to do something. It wouldn't be dangerous if we secured Mia to the ladder with a safety harness. <sighs> OK, Mia. 
Let's give it a go. You're doing great, Mia. Josh, don't worry. I'm only trying to help. It's okay. Can she reach? I don't know. The duck keeps getting in her way. We're nearly there, Mia. One more go should do it. Uh, oh, got ya! Well done, clever girl. She's done it. Yay! Yeah. Yeah. Woof, 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 woof. Oh, now I see what was troubling you. How lucky are you? Not one egg is cracked. Let's bring them in, Tom. Well done, Mia. Oh, I don't think we'll be playing any more football here today, Timber. Mrs Duck needs some peace and quiet while she waits for her eggs to hatch. Is Elfie's bucket locked down, Tom? Elfie's tucked up nice and tight, Frankie. OK, team. That was a good result. <coughs> Look! The ducklings have hatched out! <laughs> that beats scoring a goal any day. <laughs> well, how about a nice coffee mug? No, giraffes don't drink coffee, Elfie. <sighs> um, pair of dark glasses? Rocking horse? Rubber duck. <sighs> I don't think we're ever going to come up with a suitable birthday present. Still, she'll enjoy her surprise birthday party, won't she, Raph? <laughs> Not if I can't think of a birthday present. Oh. Well, why don't you ask everyone else when you invite them to the party? Someone's bound to have a good idea. Good idea. I just said that. I'll ask Barney if I can have the day off to go and ask everyone. Do it. Look what I've got for you, Scoot. It's the Max Mark I jetpack. Now you'll go extra supersonic fast. Of course you can have the day off, Raph. Thank you, Barney. Too kind. <sighs> Fat lot of help I was. I couldn't think of anything to help Raph. Well, you tried, Elfie. Yes, but I know. I'll give the old place a good spruce up for the party. That's what I'll do. I'll get the station looking absolutely bright and clean and sparkling. Great idea, Elfie. A surprise party? Shush. It's supposed to be a surprise. Just one thing, though. I can't think of anything to get her as a present. Well, how about a nice scarf to keep her warm? You know what? That's a great idea, Mia. But where am I going to find a scarf big enough? She's got a very long neck, you know. 
Well, if everyone gave you a scarf, we could sew them all together. That would be long enough. Uh, hang on, where's he going? We can collect all the scarves in this. You know, you two ought to enter the Good Idea Olympics. <laughs> Come on, let's get collecting. <laughs> Hello. Mm, that chimney could do with a spot of attention. A bit higher, please, Frankie. Got you, Elfie. <laughs> Supersonic scoot and Max the Marvel. When emergency calls, we'll be the fastest thing in the city. Okay, Scoot. Let's get ready to rumble! Whoa, I hope I didn't overdo things. Uh-oh. Oh, wow! Whoa, whoa. Whoa. Look out! <laughs> to be the longest scarf ever invented. And the most colourful by the look of things, Jumpy. You must thank your mum for sewing them all together. Oh, G is going to be so pleased. What's that sound? What? Max? Oh! Whoa. Whoa. Oh, that was lucky. Except, how do I get down? What just happened? I don't know. I think it was something to do with Max. Jumpy, hold on. I, I, I can't. We'll get help. Oh, yes, please. And quickly. I don't like it up here. Go and get Frankie, Raph. Oh, okay. And hurry! Try not to move, Jumpy. We'll soon have you down. Oh, I hope. Oh, no! I hope you can swim, Scoot. Looks like we're going to get wet. Phew! That was close. I think I'd better take you back to the station and get those jetpacks off you. On the flagpole? Yes, and if we don't hurry... Tom, Frankie, quick. Get yourselves over to the town hall as soon as you can. Sooner! I'm on the case. Abby, why'd you stop? Help! Elfie, what are you doing up there? Wondering how to get down. Well, don't worry. Frankie will help. He won't. He's just gone off on a job. How about Haley? Good thinking, Abby. Don't worry, Elfie. We'll soon have you down. Max, just the very person. We need Haley and quick. Elfie's stuck on the fire station roof. Hey, over here! Help! Thanks, Max. You're a lifesaver. Speaking of which, I think there's a bit of a problem over at the town hall. You mean, like, an emergency? Think so. Right. Elfie. Elfie. Hop in. Elfie, come on. We've got someone to save. 
Elfie! Um, uh, <clears throat> I think she might still be on the station roof. On the station? What's she doing up there? Well, <laughs> she was cleaning it. Getting ready for G's surprise party. Well, in that case, come on, Tom. In you hop. I can't. You know what I'm like with heights. I'll do it. You will not, my lad. Safety regulations forbid it. Well, who's going to get jumpy down? Elfie! Thought you might need a hand. Hang on, jumpy. We'll soon have you down. Well, I think that's enough excitement for one day. Um, not quite. Hey, you mean... Shh, shh, shh. We've still got G's surprise birthday party, remember? Here she comes. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever can they want me at the fire station for? I don't know, G. But Raf said it was important. Surprise! Surprise! Happy, Happy birthday, birthday G. G! Oh, but this is so unexpected. I hope this is too. It's a scarf. Hope you like it. Oh, it's beautiful. Thank you. Thank you all so much. <sighs> Happy, Happy birthday, G! G. I don't know where it's all come from. Yes, I... Such a lot of mail today. Well, I had to pack it in an extra bag. Yes, I... Couldn't get it all in my pouch. Well, um... And I can get more post in uh -huh. my pouch than most people can get in something no, really it... big, like a big bag. Yes. Like this one. It's so extra, it's... you see, because oh. I've got so much mail to deliver. I see. Hop in, Ted. We've got an emergency. Oh. Um, sorry, Kimmy. Some other time. What's the emergency, Tina? Nothing too serious. The mare slipped on a piece of cheese. Just a couple of bruises, I expect. Post! Oh! Oh, Kimmy! Don't do that! Oh, sorry, Elfie. It's just I've got a lot of posts today, so I thought I ought to shout just that little bit louder. Now, let's say I've got a load of letters for Barney and... and Oh, my bag! My extra bag of letters! It's gone! Someone must have stolen it! Help! Police! There's a letter robber on the loose! Are you sure? Sure I'm sure, sure as sure can be. I was on my rounds with an extra bag when I got to the fire station and it had gone. Someone must have taken it. There could be stuff in there that's really important and... Max? Find that missing bag. Aye, aye, sir. Right, Kimmy. I want you to tell me exactly what you've done today so we can retrace your steps. Right. I woke up at around half past six. I was wearing my spotty pink pyjamas. I got out of bed, not the usual side. I got out of the right-hand side for a change because I distinctly remember my slippers weren't there. They're bunny slippers. Not real bunny slippers, of course. That'd be cruel. No, they're pretend bunnies. Anyway, then I went to brush my teeth. And so... I came here, and I want the thief found and punished, severely. Oh, what? Oh, oh, right, Scoot. Let's go and find that mailbag. <laughs> <laughs> Must do something about that siren of yours, Scoot. Hi, Martin. Hi, Mia. Ooh, what have you got there? We're taking some of Mum's cakes to the police station. Cool, brilliant. Can I have one? No, they're for Bobby and the team. Well, can I come with you and give them to them? <laughs> yes, all right, Jumpy. Great, I'd make a brilliant delivery man, you know. And the next stop she made was the hospital. 
Kimmy must have been so busy talking she forgot it. Well, we better take it back to her. There might be some important letters in there. Caught you red-handed! It's a very serious offence is stealing the post. What? Kimmy told me all about it. How someone stole her extra mail sack. Oh, for Pete's sake, Max. I didn't steal it. Kimmy left it here by mistake. Kimmy... She left it here? Oh, I see. Well, in that case, I'd better take it back to her. Um, sorry, Ted. Got a bit carried away. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> my. Your mum certainly bakes a wonderful cake. Mm. Special Agent Max reporting, sir. Mystery solved, case closed, and three cheers for Max. Oh, Max, Max, can I have a go on Scoot, please? I'm the best scooter racer in the city of Friends. Well, I would be if I had a scooter. Can I have a go, please? Uh, uh, not just now, Jumpy. When then, Max? Well, I've got to take this mailbag back to Kimmy and, uh, uh, stuff. Uh, <clears throat> see you later. Kimmy, I found the missing mailbag. Ripper! Oh, Max, you're a hero. Well, come I, uh, in, come uh, in and uh, tell me all sorry. about it. <laughs> hmm. Must learn to whistle sometime. And when I've learnt how to whistle, I'll be the best whistler in... Hello? Hi, Scoot! Max? Max? Oh, not here. Well, he won't mind if I take you for a little ride there, will he, Scoot? <laughs> Whee! Whoa! <laughs> Can't thank you enough, Max. Brilliant job. You've saved the day and no mistake. Beauty! Yes, well, I uh, can't stay to chat, Kimmy. Uh, crimes to solve, criminals to... Oh, 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 Scoot, he's gone. He's been stolen. Someone call the police. You are the police, Max. Oh, yes, that's right. Stop, thief, wherever you are. Scoot, Scoot. Ha-ha, <laughs> it's Jumpy, best scooterator in the city of... Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, how do I stop? It's... Oh, oh. <laughs> Frankie, stop. Sounds like someone's in trouble. <laughs> oh, oh. oh, oh dear. What's it all about, Elfie? Jumpy's had a bit of an accident. Scoot! <laughs> Scoot! Max, whatever's the matter? Oh, it's Scoot. He's gone missing. I think he might have been stolen. Oh! <laughs> oh! Ah! Ah! He's not as bad as he sounds. Just a few bumps and grazes. You mean, I'm going to live? You'll be fine, Jumpy, but we better take you to the hospital. There's a few grazes that need a little attention. Oh. Oh. Martin, Mia, could you tell Jumpy's mum and dad that he's had a little accident? Nothing to worry about, but we're taking him to the hospital to patch him up. Of course we will. Is he still here? Yup, he's here. And as good as new. Well, not quite. That scooter ride was so not a good I uh, um I I've decided to be a champion whistler when I grow up. Yeah. <laughs> um what scooter ride? Were you the person who took Scoot? <laughs> Jumpy? <laughs> yes. But Max did say I could have a go, sort of. Well, how was I supposed to know Scoot was going to scoot me into the bushes? 
And I've looked everywhere. I don't think I'm ever going to see Scoot again. <laughs> Scoot! So when Jumpy told us where he'd left Scoot, it didn't take us long to find him. Well done. You know, I think we ought to make you Special Assistant Detective Constables for this. Oh, oh, can I be a Special Assistant Detective Constable too? Maybe. When you learn not to, uh, <clears throat> borrow things that don't belong to you. Yes, um, <clears throat> I I'm, I'm sorry, Max. Sorry, Scoot. But, oh, I know. I'll just be a Special Detective Whistler instead. <laughs> <laughs> morning, all. Morning, Bobby. Morning, 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 Bobby. Oh, the usual, please. One coffee to go, coming up. Now then, <clears throat> I need your help. Well, we do our best, Bobby. What's up? We've got a special training exercise today for the police, fire and ambulance services. Oh, thanks. The thing is, no one will have time to go out for lunch. That's no problem, Bobby. We'll deliver sandwiches. Yes, leave it with us. Well, thank you. That's a problem solved. Everyone will be really pleased. See you later then. Bye. Bye, Bobby. Bye. Hey, Mia and I could deliver the sandwiches on our bikes. Oh, yes. Please let us, please. Good idea. Of course you can. Calling all police, fire and ambulance units. Are you receiving me? Ambulance crew here, Bobby. Receiving you. Max here, Bobby. Receiving you. Fire crew here, Bobby. Receiving you. OK. The emergency you are going to attend in a moment is not a real one. But you must pretend that it is. Barney and I want to see how well you all work together. Stand by, please. Right. First stop, the fire station. Helmets on, Mia. There's no need. It's not far. It's not about how far it is. You should wear your helmet. But I look silly in it. Hi, Bobby. We're ready to go. Thanks, Barney. Calling all units. Calling all units. Emergency. Emergency. We have a fire in the city. Here are your instructions. Come on, then, Scoot. Let's get there first. to wear a helmet, Mia. No, I'm not going to. Come on, we have to deliver these sandwiches. But, Mia... Come on, Martin. I'll write carefully, all right? <sighs> all right. Good work there, Elfie. Well done, you three. I can see Raph. He's looking out for his lunch. No, he isn't. He's watching out for fires. Hi, Raph. Hello. Mia, he can't hear you. Just keep your eyes on the road. Stop fussing. I am. Whoop, whoop. <coughs> oh. oh, Mia. Raph to Bobby, Raph to Bobby. Mia's had an accident on her bike. Can you send Tina to check her over? 
Bobby here. We'll do, Ref. Oh, you're lucky. It's just a scrape. But you could have hurt your head, Mia. Why weren't you wearing your helmet? Because I look silly in it. OK. Tina to Max. Tina to Max. Can you get over here as soon as possible? I need your help. Mia won't wear her cycle helmet. Max here, Tina. No problem. Relax, relax. You can count on Max. Hey, here's Max. What do you notice about him, Mia? He's on Scoot. And? Hi there, sandwich people. <laughs> He's funny. OK, that's true. But the important thing is, he always wears his helmet when he's on Scoot. Isn't that so, Max? Yep, always. You see, Mia, you should always wear your helmet too. But I look silly in my helmet. I look silly in mine. But I wear it anyway, to be safe. Well, I think you look cool in yours. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. OK. Hey, I know. How about this? We'll do a deal. A deal? Uh-huh. Here it is. You agree to wear your helmet for the rest of the day. After that, it's up to you. You mean it's her choice? Yep. But my guess is she'll always want to wear it. What do you say, Mia? Um... Yes. OK. Done. <laughs> Good for you. See you later, then. See you. Bye, Tina. Thanks. Bye. What's your clever plan, Max? <laughs> You'll see. Relax, relax. Leave it to Max. Max to Ted. Max to Ted. That's a great idea, Max. I'll do that. Don't forget to tell Elfie. OK, Max, will do. Hi, Frankie. We've brought lunch. Oh, good for you. They're all ravenous in there. Have you got the sandwiches? Yes, all here. Brilliant. Thanks. Come on, Mia. Uh, wait a moment, you two. We've got something for you, haven't we, Tom? Oh, yes. Here you go. They're special badges. You've earned them for being the fire service's delivery team. Wow, thanks. Where do we put them? Well, on your helmets, of course. I've never had a special badge before. You deserve it. Oh, thanks, everyone. Bye. 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 Elfie to Ted. Elfie to Ted. They'll be with you soon. Thanks, Elfie. We're already here. Hi there. Are we glad to see you two? Oh, thanks, Martin. We've got something for you. They're helmet badges for being the ambulance services delivery team. Hey, thanks, Ted. Oh, thank you. They look great. Thanks, Tina. Enjoy your lunch. Bye. Ted to Max. Ted to Max. They're on their way. Thanks, Ted. We're ready. Just the people we wanted to see. Oh, thanks, Mia. Now, guess what? We've got special badges for you both for being the police services delivery team. <gasps> wow, brilliant! That's three badges for my helmet. Hey, thanks! Bye! See you soon. Go carefully! Bye. Bye! Well done, Max. Mia loves her helmet now. And that's all down to your smart thinking. <laughs> <laughs> now you're never going to take your helmet off. Well, I like wearing it now. It's cool. But you were right. I should wear it anyway, because it's the safe thing to do. <laughs> relax, relax. Leave it to Max. What do you think Max is 
is up to? Ow! Ow. Max, are you all right? Oh, uh, hi! Yes, never better. <laughs> What's that you've got there, Max? This is Scoot's new improved siren. What just happened? Uh, I think Max did. <laughs> just a few little gremlins to be sorted out. Max, stop messing about and get to work. Uh, yes, Bobby. And where are you three off to this bright and breezy morning? We're going for a walk in Friend Forest. So we're going to see if we can find any rare plants there. We're going to take pictures. Bye! Bye. <laughs> Mind how you go. We will. <laughs> wow! Here! Look what I found! <laughs> Jumpy, that's a bluebell. They're about as rare as flies round a jam pot. Oh, I knew that. Just wanted to make sure you were both paying attention. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right. But I bet I can find the rarest plant. Come on. Now this is what I call a find. That's a sort of mushroom, isn't it? A fungus. Yep. Isn't it beginning to get a bit dark? Wow! Look at the time! We should be getting back. Uh, which way is back? Maybe it's this way. We're lost, aren't we? Lost? Help! We're lost! Lost in Friend Forest and... and, and Hungry work, all this inventing. Oh, need salt and pepper. No. Oh. Oh well. Just have to do without the pepper. Hmm. They should be back by now. I hope nothing's happened. Oh, don't worry. They're sensible children. They'll be back soon. <laughs> oh, hello, Tiffany. Well, you look pleased to see one of your best customers. Oh, I'm sorry, Tiffany. It's just that we're a bit worried about Martin and Mia. They went to look for flowers in Friend Forest. Yes, I know. I saw them earlier on. And they're not back yet. Well, don't worry. Timber and I will find them in no time. Timber's a brilliant tracker dog. Oh. oh. <laughs> Have you got one of the sweaters or a sock or something so Timber can get their scent? That's it. Good boy. Now seek. Seek, Timber. <laughs> Don't worry, they'll be home before you know it. Oh, I hope so. Thanks, Tiffany. Oh, now that's what I call a sandwich. <laughs> that sounds like... Timber! He must have sniffed up all the pepper I spilt. You spilt pepper? What for? I, I didn't do it on purpose. I... Tiff, 
something the matter? Just a bit. Martin, Mia and Jumpy are lost, and Timber was tracking them down. But thanks to you and your pepper... <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Sorry, Timber. <laughs> oh. Still, not to worry. I'll find them. I'll fetch Haley, and we'll search the forest for them. <laughs> and we'll get Petey. Where to, Tiffany? Friend Forest. We've got some lost children to find. OK, Haley, This is a red alert. Let's go! Idea. Oh, brilliant! Here we are, lost in Friend Forest, and Martin wants to take a picture! No, no pictures. Just going to use the flash. Of course, the flash gun. They might be able to see that through the trees. Oh, it's no good. Your searchlight won't reach the forest floor. Wait, what's that down there? It looks like someone's trying to signal us. Max to Tiffany, Max to Tiffany. You found them? I think so. Someone's signalling from amongst the trees. It could be them. They're about 300 metres from you. Bearing seven degrees north by northwest. I'm on my way. A lot of good that was. It was a really good idea, Martin. Yeah, pity it didn't work. <gasps> What's that? Oh no, I said the forest was full of monsters and... That's no monster, it's Tiffany. Tiffany! Are we ever glad to see you? Likewise, your mum and dad are being so worried. Oh, Tiffany, how can we ever thank you? Oh, there's no need. And I have to say, Max did all the real work. Oh, he was great. Him and Hayley. Mind you, he wouldn't have spotted us if it hadn't have been for your camera, Martin. Well, we'll have to give Max a little something to show our appreciation. Suppose you've got a spare pepper pot knocking about, have you? <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> 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 